Hi, Kiahi Palayo here, and today is the first of what I hope are many different book reviews that I do. I enjoy reading, and I'm going to share my thoughts on the books that I've read with you. I'm going to give you the overview of the book, the key points as I see them, and then at the end, I'm going to make a recommendation as to whether or not you should buy the hardbound copy as quick as you can and pay retail, wait for the paperback copy, buy a used copy, or maybe don't buy it at all. But today we're going to be reviewing Die With Zero. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's called Die With Zero. It was written in 2020 with, by Bill Perkins. And what attracted me to this book is that I saw Bill Perkins interviewed on YouTube and I found it to be very enlightening and inspiring on how I might be able to change my life. So the premise of the book, the premise of the book is that if we wait too long with too much money in the bank, that we're wasting opportunities for us to have more great experiences in life, to have more people in our life that we love and want to be around and to do good with our money. That's the overview. And the idea is, if you could do it properly, if you die 30 years from now, on the last day, you spend your last dollar. Funny thing, I'm talking with this attorney at the gym, and he said, hey, here's an even better idea, die in debt. And we laughed, and it occurred to me, wow, if you do die in debt and nobody else is on the hook for the debt, the debt isn't paid. There's no one to pay it because you're dead. That's a, another thought, maybe a book for someone else to write. The four key points of Bill Perkins' book are, number one, that you have to use the dollars while you're alive. We always hear about this person who died with $2 million that they gave to somebody else or to a charity when they passed. And everybody goes, wow, how charitable. But what would have happened if they gave that money away 20 years earlier? How much more good could they have done? By spending the money down now, we get better experiences, more life, more friends in our life. So number one, spend the money. Number two, money has a period where it's more meaningful. And this struck me. I have children, adult children, that are in their, going into their 30s, my oldest will be 30, uh, actually 29 this year, and soon she'll be 30. But he made the point that if between 30 and 35, you give your children $100,000 to buy a house or to do something or to have in their life at that age, that $100,000 is way more meaningful than if you give them $500,000 when they're 60. Money is more meaningful now. Same thing with charities. You save your money, you give your, your um, estate to charity 40 years from now, 30 years from now. Well, what would happen if you gave them a half a million dollars today? How much good could they do in your life with that money? The point is, is that give your money away while it's most meaningful to the organizations and people that you want to give it to. Number three, certain things you want to do or want to have, have shelf lives. Example, if you want to hike the Dolomite Mountains in the Alps and you're 50 years old and you're planning on doing it once you're retired, you may not have the health or the physicality to be able to do it when you're 65 or 70 or 80. The best time to hike the Dolomite Mountains are when you have the ability to do it, okay? There are certain things you want to buy. Harley Davidson motorcycle is an example. Is it reasonable to believe when you're 85 years old that you're going to be able to buy a Harley Davidson and drive it down the road and stop at a stop sign and keep it from falling over on you. Things and ideas 
and experiences have shelf lives. Do it now, in other words. All right? And then number four, experiences with people. I hadn't considered this, but Perkins goes into it and says, if your mom is in her 80s and you think she's going to live until she's 95 and she lives somewhere else in the world than you do, if you're lucky, you might see her 10 times between now and when she passes. Use your money to see her now, to see her more, to see your loved ones more, to see your friends more. And, and it's the people that matter and share your experiences with them so they have experiences to remember. For Perkins, remembering the experience is the payoff. And he thinks about all of the things he's done with his friends and family. And to him, that's worth investing the money. Perkins actually did something where he bought out a resort on an island and brought all of his friends and family down there. And this is one of the key points from the book that struck me. He said there are certain people in your life that aren't just going to be able to afford to do the things you want to do with them. And he said that because they're important to you, one should be willing to scholarship them to, to the event so that you can have the joy of the experience with them. That's the book, Die With Zero. Now we need a drum roll. Ba -ba 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 -boom. What do I recommend? Should you run out and buy a hard copy, pay full retail? Should you wait for the paperback? Should you buy a used copy or it's not worth buying? My opinion is it's somewhere in the paperback to buy a used copy. I saw them online, and for me, I didn't need the repetition of detail in the book that he goes through, but the concepts are worth spending money either for the paperback or a used copy. Either way, if you have any feedback or anything you want to share with me about this review, feel free to contact me all of the ways that you can contact me. And in the meantime, you have a great day.